Hello and welcome to our Twisted Showcase exhibition. Live for you on the internet. Not live, but... We've got ours. <laughs> Recorded. <laughs> Recorded live. So it was in Wrexham in Indegin from um, May the 8th to... May the 8th, March, March 8th, 8th to April 4th, 4th of April. And this is uh, the cape from Bob, Bob Dracula, Dracula, which was the first thing you saw when you went in on your uh, left. Yeah. Ne <coughs> next to these posters. Which are the posters for, as you can see, Drugs Don't Work and Payback. A bit dark, the Payback poster, isn't it? They're, well, they're both black and white, uh, yeah. really, with a bit of red. That's our kind of colour scheme, really, isn't it, for our series, Black, White and Red? Yeah. It's, as shown in the... Uh, it was established from the beginning. As uh, Bob Dracula, yeah. They're great, these posters. Yeah, I really like them. We, we've brought them home with us, haven't we? And maybe find a home for them somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, the, this is from the film Fear of Living, from series one. These were the drawings done on set by uh, Ziad El Hadi, um, our lead actor. Uh, they're pretty, fairly, it took him like probably five minutes to kind of draw them up, but they get across they, the episode so well. They're really, I like this one, isn't it? like he's got an axe in his hand there, like laser axe. <laughs> I remember him saying he'd written like a diary in the kind of voice of the character in the kind of weeks building up to the. Fuck. <laughs> oh, but that, that wrecked his head a bit so, uh, so uh, maybe properly in the head of the character when he was doing these uh, I love how childish they are as well and they're part of our exhibition <laughs> I know here we yeah. go childish folk, uh, drawings of death That's bit, that sums us up really doesn't it yeah childish view of death <laughs> <laughs> but so. you can talk about the next bit um or no it's just you've more an awful lot more of time film, yeah. stuff. <laughs> I, I cut that out <laughs> And that's um, 3rd of August is my birthday, um, so that I just picked that as a date. Oh, it's your birthday, that was it. Hey, it's Mr Egg, a little in-joke that we give a place to. Yeah, we, there's, a, there's two of them, we drew, them. drew one each. Yeah. That the one. episode... Um, I, eyeball. Eyeball. Previously used in a film we made called Typecasts. Which you'll well. probably never see. Hopefully never see, I think I've lost the DVD. Oh, you can talk about this, it's your film. Yeah, so this is the bucket. We wanted to put a little... Um... The bucket? From what? Oh, from <laughs> obviously it's from toilet seat. It's got toilet seat written on it. <laughs> People might not know this thing. Well, why, why would they be watching it? Because <laughs> it's YouTube. Oh, anyway, no. this is the, this is the um, ingredients to make your own toilet seat. So if you pause it now, you can make your own and feed it to your friends. Yeah, it's got how to, got how to guide as well. Like squat over and empty your bowels. Yeah. Um, you know, put it on, the, simmer it for... Five minutes is that while stirring? Five minutes while stirring. Maybe we're like serving a public toilet sink, <laughs> offering. Oh, oh never mind, gone. But um, maybe, maybe wear a like, protective mask um, while while making it because it might smell quite bad. Depends what yeah. you want to eat, really. And as you can see, dignity there's, there's, is not there's, a big thing. <laughs> there's Norman cooking up toilet. some toilet seat. These are posters that were never used for the. Well, I did them on my phone and then forgot all about them. <laughs> And that's a behind the scenes wall, which um, has loads of cool stuff on there. Yeah, you can um, see like Night Killer's Mask and some other posters. That, like this one, the Clone Alone one, I'm not sure we used. I think we did put that one up. Um, I like it. Oh, it's gone. No, I like That's my favourite one. My little <laughs> meme I made. Yeah, that never went up. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're up there now. They're up there now. They're, they're doing their thing. Um, hey, couple, there we are. A couple of people I know won competitions. We'll get um, some of these sent out to them. And uh, we'll probably do some future competitions in the run up to Series 4 with some of these that, that can be won. Um, and some great photos from the set. Uh, I was thinking maybe using them in, in some DVD artwork if we ever make a DVD. Yeah, yeah. As a kind of collage. <laughs> I quite, you know what I like most about this, and there's nothing to do with us. Go on. I like how sort of like desolate and horrible the sort of the the room is as well that it's in, like all that kind of yeah, the, like the, the, the wall and the brown kind yeah of painted kind of wall. Yeah, you're right. It, you know, it's a perfect it's a perfect setting for it all, isn't it? So, we've got something from Nino. You know, quite a lot of our films, considering we forgot to do photos on set. I think I'm quite pleased of how many kind of photos we have got. Not. Usually not from us, it's from other people who work with us. Who... Yeah, we're not very good at sort of like documenting our own We're selves. concentrating on making the bloody films. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we do try to get behind the scenes stuff, and a lot of times we even forget to put it up on when the episodes are coming out. But I think a part of me thinks, no, got to concentrate on pushing the episode, not these things. But I think we, we should be better at putting them out. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know. Is this the press section? 
Um, yeah, this is the press looking section at, now. Looking at bits there's of a lot of our press local had, press and local press. There's stuff from the Guardian. Yeah, there's the um, really we've like had the Rome of Fiction press thing. Hey! Hey, there's our cushion, which has made it home in one yep. piece. The, so this is the a, showcase cushion because this is the viewing station, wasn't it? If you want one, we'll we'll make you one for an astronomical price and we'll sign it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. What's going on here? Oh, I was thinking, oh, there we go. There we go. I'm looking, I'm looking at something. That's, that's my camera work. This is why oh. I don't di- direct Hey, look at that on the floor. What's that? I don't know. This is why I don't direct many films. It's just a showcase. Uh, gives you a sense of the room, though. And there's our script wall. This is Reese's idea. I'll let him explain what, what he's thinking behind it was. Well, basically, I wanted to have a wall full of scripts. I thought no, it was a good you, idea. You really no, no idea. Yeah, I was just about to explain it then. So you've got all the scripts on the wall, which are the ideas of the series and the films, and then if it ever goes down the camera, you can see that they're behind the the TV, so oh, it's sort of like. The camera's going to spend ages just looking yeah. at these random bits of script that we put the notes on and stuff. So, uh, you'd, be, so you'd be seeing the, the films on the screen, and these are the ideas behind it. Throw food packets on the sofa. <laughs> this is a script for eyeball, oh, I guess, geez. in there. Look at my little... You know, yours are dead clear notes. No wonder I can never read my notes of mine. They're like written by a... Yeah, I always write, in, I always write everything in, in bold. If I'm writing by hand, I write Look, in, mine's tiny. In, in bold. I never do joined up writing anymore because I, I just... I've got, like, doctor's handwriting. Um, really kind of scrawly. So I write everything in bold. What's this? Why do we never add this? Oh, yeah, that's the original ending to eyeball. Which like, I, was I think what's happened... Is we've put the script down and like put lost the lost the, the last page. page, yeah. But it's a really great ending. So if you want to kind of film a black screen and say that over it every time you watch the film, we can do that. If we, but we're not going to. No, but I think oh they could do they it, could yes. do it as a kind of interactive element to the show. Yeah, if you want to film that ending, do it in your own weird voice and then send it in and and we'll we'll put it on. Yeah. We've just realised we've not got much battery left and we're recording this commentary, so we're hoping it lasts out to the end. Otherwise, we'll add on a. Kind of beer at the end for so you. So if it cuts off and then, like Home Alone, <laughs> it's Clone Alone, rhymes with Home Alone. That's what. But I think that when in series two, I was like going go for titles that really you know grab the attention and sum it up in one one bit because the original title was Samware, wasn't it? Yeah, which was kind of what's that? You know, I think yeah. I thought, you know what, what's that? And you're like, you wanted it because what I, was just, I still think there's some kind of leftover kind of Samware bit in the script which maybe could have been taken out to, to fit in there. There was. Uh, Idiot's Guide to Murder was a kind of grabby title rather than calling it Night Killer. Night Killer thing. Returns or Night Killer's Back because. Um, you know, what else? Change yeah. this. Um, to pre- a press field play somewhere. was just called Play, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Yeah, it was called Play, but then you you were like, no, call it Press Play because. Yeah. You know, that's invocative of somebody pressing play. So <laughs> <laughs> um, that was your reasoning. And then the Last Trick or Treat in Town. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that film. No. Um, Something at the top of the stairs, like an old kind of seventies kind of anthology title. Well, you know, toilet soup as well. In the th- that, 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 yeah, I mean, like that series three, not two, but that's a bit yeah. of carryover to this kind of grabbing attention. Yeah, so the same with probably drugs don't work as well, isn't it? And Confessions more of a sort of series three film. Series yeah, this three is what film. we were talking about last night. Let's talk about the, the exhibition. Here's a here's a kind of panorama of it. God, my camera work is phenomenal. Well, this, yeah. this, should, this should give you a real sense of what the space was like. So you did the bin bags, didn't you? It made it look like yeah. Um, I wanted to uh, that one there on that one there. You can't see. I'm pointing at, can you? The one on the on the right. On the right. <laughs> I, I, I tried to make it look like they were you know, the curtains of a, a cinema. Yeah, that come down. Uh, it, it, it's not like that at all, though. <laughs> it just looks like a a drug den. And there's a script wall. And there you go. See, as I was saying before, there the ideas behind the, the behind films. the films. There you go. So that could switch the showcase is all about ideas. That's Clone Alone, which on the DVD that was playing in the uh, place was the first film on there, wasn't it? On the, yeah. On that DVD. So here we go. Here's the shot of the script wall from the top, <laughs> saying scripts, through all the ideas, right to the heart of Twisted Showcase. Yeah. Which and, is the films, if you don't know. It pans out a little bit. I've got distracted by a cat. I've, 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 seen, that, I've seen that cat chasing as well. like... Uh, wasps or hornets or bees or whatever it is it's only a little kitten it's not the same cat you normally comes around is it no I saw it catch a butterfly and eat it the other day oh it's a cat for you this is where we get our ideas for Twisted Showcase <laughs> so for series 4 there'll be a, a cat <laughs> eating a mouse or a butterfly even and there we go this is brilliantly timed Twisted <laughs> Showcase there's a logo you know and love and that'll be changing in series 4 <coughs> yeah it will be 